We're looking at all kinds of innovative ways to get these kids back to playing. Next up. Before COVID, before restrictions. That's when the game becomes fun. Cut. Only to do so safely. The nonprofit Indiana Soccer and it's more than 60,000 members. Very good. Are teaming up with gamers. You can dial up pressure coming from this side. I can dial up pressure coming from this side. It's virtual reality. It's really effective during this pandemic. Allowing players of all ages to hone their skills. Oh. Good. While being graded by developer Rezel, along with analytics from Harina Data. Maybe you're using your left foot too often when your right foot is the better foot. Those are the kinds of insight that data can provide us. The best news, the virtual players are coronavirus free. In 30 to 35 minutes, I can have a kid dripping wet and he hadn't left a space any bigger than inside this goal right here. Players have a virtual reality headset with monitors attached to their feet. Your body is going to move and react just the way you would on the field, uh, even though you're in a digital space. Indiana Soccer Executive Director Dave Guthrie saying. I think we're going to make it available to all players, but we'll start with our Olympic development players. Guthrie adding that colleges can utilize players' scores in recruitment. Yeah, I've seen it being used on 9 and 10 year olds. Kids have a blast doing it. So when you're dribbling, you want to have control of the ball. Video you know? games are never going to be able to replace the, the feeling of being on grass. But when the game changes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We couldn't compete for the ball. You pivot. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. With a strong enough computer, Dave Guthrie says the equipment can run close to $100. He says a field can cost thousands of dollars on upkeep alone.